Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So, I finally got myself a dress form. Actually, she is uh, pretty old, used, and a hand-me-down, but I am very grateful to have her. A dress form is was on the top of my list of things I really need to get in order to be able to continue sewing and improve with my sewing. And now that I have decided that I'm gonna make my own wedding dress, this is something I cannot go without. It is, is essential. I need to be able to drape that pattern, fit that dress without having to put it on and take it off and get it dirty, you know, a hundred times. So now I have my little friend here. Her name is Chacoline. She is a little beat up. The legs need a little bit of repairing. But most importantly, Chacoline here is tiny and shaped very differently than I am. I do not have this narrow of a ribcage. Or waist. If I want to use this dress form to drape patterns and dresses for myself, then I will need to bulk her out. And that's what we're gonna do today. I have never done this before, I've never owned a dress form before, I've even, um, but I watched some YouTube videos and there are some amazing ones out there on how to pad out a dress form. The most useful video I have found was from Red Threaded, so I will be taking from, you know, that information in order to pad out my dress from here. So I have my padding that I'm gonna use. This is quilting batting. And I have a tape measure, obviously, because we need to get this to my exact measurements. So I have taken my measurements. Now we just need to take Chacoline's measurements here so that we know how much padding we need to add. So let's start with the bust measurement. She measures 81 centimeters. I am 87, so we'll need six extra centimeters around the bust. Then the waist, this is where I anticipate the biggest difference. She is 58 centimeters. I am 68, so we'll need 10 more centimeters in the waist. And then around the hips, or actually just the widest part of the butt, she measures 85 centimeters and I am 92. So again, that's a pretty large difference. So yeah, we're gonna make you bigger. <laughs> I will also need some scissors and pins and I do plan to cover her in the end because I do want to use this again for draping you know, with delicate fabrics. So I want this to be covered and smooth and just nice looking in the end. I have that stretchy cotton that I sometimes pull out and use for random projects. I still have a lot of that left. So I think I'm just gonna use that to cover her when this is done. But uh, yes, let's get my scissors and my pins out and start padding. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the breasts since I can't really change this distance much between the breasts and the shoulders and uh, I will probably need to change the distance between the breasts and the waist or at least the kind of tip of the breasts I guess um, is a good place for me where I can measure that distance because I do need of course the waist to sit in the right place as well and I'm not entirely sure yet how that will move when I pad out the breasts. Cynthia from Red Threaded made a good point talking about the posture of the mannequin and how that is often very different from people's postures in real life. So when you look at me, um, my back is much more curved than hers is, even though this one is pretty good. She doesn't have a super straight back. I do think I need to add a little bit more here on the back of the shoulders. Maybe I should measure the distance between the shoulders as well. I haven't really thought about that, but that's of course, it does count. So she measures 34 centimeters and I am 37, 38. Okay, so I should probably make her a bit wider as well. Oh, this thing's entirely too small. <laughs> okay, but in that case, I do think I'm gonna go all the way to the side here. I'm just trying to come along down the side seam for now. And I think I'm actually going to stop at the waist, maybe. I think now's the time when I need to cut this. Oh, I think this might be a bit more complicated than I initially thought. more around 
around here. Not that big for the back. I think for now I'm gonna move on with the breasts and um, see how much width we have when that is done because I don't want to overdo this. I think it's pretty good for now. Maybe I should have made it a bit higher. Maybe I'll just start with another strip straight across. Bat her out entirely first. Sort like thingies down the bottom here. Okay, let's see how we're doing with wise so far. I doubt this will be enough, but let's just try. We are at oh wow, eighty six. Okay, so we actually only need one more centimeter. Maybe, maybe I should measure, just to be sure, from the top of my shoulder to the widest point here. That is 20 se 27 centimeters. My breast sits a lot lower than hers. Yeah, I'm afraid that there isn't much I can do about that. I think I'm just much taller, probably, than she is. Yeah, I am taller. My waist is down here at her hip um, now that our shoulders match up and my breasts are <laughs> way below hers and I'm just I'm just taller okay there isn't much I can do about that I'm afraid oh what do I do let's do the breasts first oh I'm really bummed that I'm that much taller because that means I won't get a good match as long as it's a better match I'll be happy and it should be that okay she's too big now she's too big what if I remove this second layer on the back I think the padding I have is just too thick to get me where I want to be so now she's way too small again three two centimeters too small okay you know what I'm just gonna put this back and um, Maybe it's better if she's a bit too big than if she's way too small. At least I can take this opportunity to put this up a bit higher, that back bit. I think it's time to move on to the waist. I noticed now that she is padded out, the difference um, between her and me in the kind of shoulder to widest point on the breast thing is only about two centimeters now. So honestly, just making the whole thing bigger is helping with that already. So there might still be hope for the waist as well, because I measure that there needs to be about, what was it, like 19 centimeters, 19, 20, between, again, the widest point of the breasts and then the waist. So in that case, I would only need to lower the waist by maybe three centimeters. And that wouldn't distort or kind of mess with the rest of the dress form too much. So. I might still be able to do that, but we will need to bulk out the waist. Maybe I should just make thinner strips. Let's measure the under bust. I haven't done that yet. That's pretty important too. 73 centimeters. And on her we have 66 currently, so we need more. I do know that I have pretty wide ribs, so that, is, that isn't very surprising. It's just something that I had forgotten about until now. And the area just above my waist, 69. So right around here, she would need to be, yeah, much bigger. We just need more padding. It's 
still a touch on the smaller side, but I can deal with this. I think if I add another layer, it'll be too much. And then this would be the area right above the waist. That is 69. And on me, that would be... Oh, that's good. 69 as well. Yay! Okay, so now I think I'm just gonna move on to the bum and the hips and then see where that leaves us on the waist. The width of the hips is pretty good as it is, but as we know, um, we need to lower everything, including the widest point of the bum. And since I have hip dips, my butt is pretty um, far in the back, if that makes sense. Like it's not very rounded on the side. All the uh, bulk is kind of, you know, in the back with dips in the side. So I think padding it like this would be the best way to go from here and possibly even more lower down. We're trying to get this lower i measured that i need about 21 centimeters from the waist to the highest point of the bum which would be around here like halfway down here so i'm probably gonna do a little bit more even down there maybe actually i should do it like this maybe that's even better it's just that it's not very smooth that way So those look a bit funny, but let's measure. Okay, we are at 87 and we need to get to 92. So I think I'm just gonna add one more layer that will kind of smooth this out, hopefully. Um, do it like that. I think that'll be good. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, let's try the waist. See what we've got. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to add more, but let's just find out how much more. 72 and we need 68. Really? Right. Um, hmm. Well, I can squish it down to 68. I think what I mostly need to do is make sure it's not squishable up top here so that I won't kind of accidentally put the waist here because here it's squished down to 60 so maybe that needs a bit more padding just one layer around the waist a thin strip to make sure that the old waist is no longer and I can only use the new waist when I'm draping That is acceptable. Okay, doing good. I'm just gonna vacuum real quick. I'm vacuuming all the time because there's bits of microplastic flying around. I don't even wanna know how much of it I've already breathed in, but I'm just gonna vacuum this really quickly and then we can move on to the next stage. Okay, the moment of truth. I have made this tube out of a stretchy fabric that stretches sideways. Um, which hopefully should fit around this to make a cover. Not bad, it fits. Let me try and get it around the bottom as well. Oop, here we go. And I just think I will need to cinch the waist somehow because um, that's a bit loose maybe with a piece of ribbon and I can then just close the top here make sure everything is nice and neatly covered all right guys she is done for now it's definitely not perfect um She's a bit weird in places, but I try to make sure that at least the kind of main measurements, like the bust and the underbust and the waist and the hips and everything, that those are approximately right. 
so that it's hopefully a bit more helpful than it was when I started this. Yeah, I think I'll just have to see how she works when I start using her for patterns and stuff and see if she needs adjusting anywhere. I am quite happy with it and I still have quite a bit of that padding left so if anything needs adjusting I can always go back and do that. I might also take more of this ribbon and make more kind of um, points because I do feel like this cover is maybe a little bit wide or a bit looser than it should have been and I could also do like this uh, center line that might be helpful. So I might still play around with her a little bit more, but for now, I'm pretty happy with my results. Oh no, the ribbon just came loose. Looking quite good if I say so myself. So I really, oh, I'll fix that later. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content and sewing videos, and the sewing of my wedding dress eventually, a few months down the line. <laughs> Yeah, if you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. I will link Red Threadless video in the description box so you can go watch that as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!